I should have been sat here smoking a cigar and reminiscing on the bike race, you know, whether we won or lost. Right now! But as it happens, the Tokyo Olympics is going to be in 12 months' time. Every hour you spend on the turbo is like four hours in real life. It's just time goes so slowly. I've never really been one that's about like the, the heart rate and the watts and the power and the numbers. I just like bikes for getting out. Lockdown meant hours on that turbo. Then the questions about what it was all for. When the rumours sort of came around about the Olympics uh, either being cancelled or postponed, again, I was... Um, I dealt with it with denial and I was just... Ah, surely it's going to go ahead. You know, they can't cancel the Olympics. Um, as it happens, they did. And you know, th that was a difficult moment in time. I think I probably compounded the problem by um, doing the classic man thing, you know. I, you're a sportsman, no less. And the, it's like the first two, two rules of Fight Club is it doesn't matter how many problems or concerns you've got, you just don't speak about it. Once he opened up and talked about it, he found a route through. The reality is the team may well benefit from the postponement. Having had a bit of time to think about it and see where we're at and see where we need to be, I think another 12 months is, you know, I'm not just going to do myself and the, the men's team pursuit a lot of good, but the Great Britain cycling team as a whole. So, these are our start gates. Ed was already planning for the future with the academy he co-owns. He has big plans for it, though for now, some may have to wait. I'm looking forward to it, you know. I, the idea was, you know, right now I'd be into that academy thing and I'd have been finished with the, uh, the career as an Olympic cyclist and we'd be trying to push that, but I guess that'll just have to wait 12 months as well, but that is something I'm super excited about.